How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Taz Astical and this is my quick basic RimWorld guide for beginners explaining how to produce drugs. First of all, this guide will assume that you understand work priorities, growing zones, and crops. If you're not aware of them, I have got guides and a playlist that you can just click below or wherever it is. If not, let's get to it and not waste your time. For this guide, you will also need the said researchers that I'm displaying on the screen. You will need the grow zones to grow said resources to make these drugs. And you will need the drug bench and a fueled stove, campfire, or an electric fire, and that um, electric stove, sorry, and that's for the tea specifically, the stoves. I'll be covering these drugs very basically with the major pros and cons for each of them. And then in the background, you will see my colonists making said drugs and perhaps using them if they deem fit. We're going to start with smoke leaf. This is really accessible early on. Production to money wise, it's not too bad, not too bad. Obviously, there are better, but not too bad. And cons, however, it is one of the most workload heavy drug to produce. So if you don't have a lot of colonists, you might spend a lot of time making that. You do, however, do get um, cooking skills while doing it as well. So always take that into consideration. Tea is where we're going to go to next because who doesn't love a cup of tea? Pros, again, really accessible very early on. Not dangerous in small qualities whatsoever. So it's a really powerful thing. As long as you're not giving them, you know, too much, you probably not even have any negatives from it. The cons it is very, very slow. Yeah, and money-wise, you probably are never going to want to make money out of this. Like, it's going to make worse money than what it does smoke leaf. Flake is where we're going to go next. One of my favorite drugs. I mean, in the game, not in real life. Most profitable by far, like growing to crafting. Because when we look at like the money that these make, we, we're taking in consideration how much input we have to put in as well. This is really great. Possibly, arguably one of the best. Cheap to make, fast to make, good price. The cons. This is really bad for your colonists. Extremely addictive. Um, ODing on this is very, very common. And then what ODing does, overdosing, it does give you a very small chance of then killing the colonists, which unless you're, if you, that's what you're going for, then more power to you. If you have a chemical fascination colonist, um, don't be surprised if one of them dies if you've got this sitting around the colony. Yayo, yeah, that's how I'm pronouncing it. That's how we're rocking it. Very fast to produce. And less dangerous for flake. And this is where the argument comes in. Do you prefer ya, ya yo or flake? Where at least ya yo. While I think it makes a little less money. Or slightly less profitability than flake. It's not as dangerous to have sitting around. However, ya yo is better for colonists with less crafter. So it means they've got more room to grow. Next, we've got beer. I've got a whole beer guide with how to produce it and how to do all of that with the wort and everything because it is a quite lengthy process. I will quickly go over it here, but that guide covers it in much more great detail with how to produce it. A pro? I mean, it's beer. Does, does beer need a pro? It's beer. Cons it is extremely slow to produce and pretty much not really worth it. Unless you just want some beer and then power to you. It's probably one of the worst margins in the game for something to sell. Next, we go on to the medical drugs. The first one on screen, because my dyslexia is not going to allow me to pronounce this. Just pretend I said it. It's harmless. I mean, in a world where you can sell meth, why would you sell this? But the idea of this is if you administer it to your colonists... Every, I can't think what it is because I haven't got it on screen at the moment, but you guys will. Every six, seven days, something like that, you won't get any illnesses whilst you are under this. If you have the illnesses and then take this, you will still get flu. So if you have the flu, then take this. It won't prevent you. It will prevent you from getting the flu next time, but not current time. I hope that made sense. Wake up. Not wake up because you're not listening. Wake up the drug. Uh, crafting costs are really high, especially in vanilla. You're better off keeping this drug to use in your colony. It's still a hard drug, so you're going to get, you know, addiction, overdosing, and death can happen, but very, very, very low chances. Next, we've got combat drug, go juice. 
don't sell these or this my recommendation the high material cost doesn't make it profitable but it's very effective drug to get out of hard situations and in my opinion it's a poor choice to sell use this as you're going into combat make sure your colonists have a couple of them on them if you can and that would be great i hope this quick guide has been helpful and if there's anything else that you feel could help new players feel free to leave a comment below to help others through this wonderful world of RimWorld. and as always I'll catch you next time, pie people. Bye.